The first behavioral intervention we're going to discuss is called behavioral activation. And with behavioral activation, basically what you're trying to do is to help the patient get back into the world. Because remember, they've been isolating, they haven't been socializing, they haven't been doing the activities they've liked to do, they probably haven't been doing activities they need to be doing like paying bills and returning phone calls. So what you're doing with behavioral activation is you're helping the patient to plan activities so that they isolate less, they're thinking less, they're feeling dead time during the day, so they don't, they have more kind of structured time throughout the day, and they're decreasing the amount of time that they're thinking. And to do that, there's sort of a process with that. And here's the process of behavioral activation. The first thing you want to do is you want to provide psychoeducation. And with that, you want the patient to understand the thought, behavior, mood connection so that they understand that the depression is not their bad personality. It's just that they're going through a difficult time. And it also will help them understand why you're going to help them to change their schedule. The next thing you want to do is normalize it, which is really happens as part of psychoeducation. Once the patient understands that the process that they're going through, their negative thoughts, their isolation is not their personality, they start to have less shame about it and they start to understand that it's really the depression talking. Then the next step is you'll want to help them to do the specific steps involved in behavioral activation, which is essentially to find out what are they doing currently? How can they fill that dead time? How can they start doing activities that are more goal-directed and that are pleasurable? And then the last step is homework. And with homework, it's basically assigning them a task to go and to start doing the new schedule that you've created with them. An important concept for patients to understand when you're helping them to do behavioral activation is it's very critical that the patient understand the concept of opposite action. And that is, remember, when someone is really going through a difficult time, they don't feel like doing anything. There's a reason that they're isolated and they're not engaged. It's because that's they don't feel like engaging and they don't feel like being around other people. So it's very critical when you're helping them to come up with a new schedule with these activities. It's very important that they understand the concept of behavioral or opposite action. And the concept of opposite action is to basically do the opposite of how you feel. With the psychoeducation, I help patients see that the depression is sort of telling them to pull away, that the depression is causing them to isolate. So what they want to do is the opposite of how they feel. What they're doing is not working, right? They're going with what the depression is telling them to do, which, which is isolating, which is actually making them think more and get more depressed. So what I suggest to them is let's try something different. Remember when I said earlier that STI is experimental? Saying to the patient, look, what you're doing is not working right now, so let's try something different. Let's try a new schedule and remember that you want to do the opposite of how you feel. You're not going to feel like implementing a new schedule. You're going to feel like being in bed and not returning phone calls and not going to work. I want you to do the opposite of that, to experiment and try it, to do the opposite of what the depression's telling you to do.